When you're given a word problem like this, this is ideal Rankine cycle with superheat, after you read it, you want to be able to sketch the system. Sketch the system. Make a sketch of the system and identify the states. Okay? So here we're going to have a, a steam generator. Out of the steam generator, it goes to a, a turbine. Out of the turbine, it goes to a condenser. And out of the condenser, it goes to a pump. And then back to the steam generator. Get a good idea of where the flow goes. Make a sketch and identify states. Let's say this is state one, this is state two, this is state three, and this is state four. Now, once you've identified each of the states, you also want to make a diagram. The, you can make a PV, but let's just make a temperature entropy diagram. After you've sketched a couple diagrams, you kind of get a sense of, let's put the dome on. So here's the dome. And let's put a line of high pressure because you know that between this turbine and the pump, this is the high pressure side and that's the low pressure side. Okay? So the pressure at two is the same as the pressure at three. The pressure at four is the same as the pressure at one. And so one of the pressures would be something like this. This is a, a line of constant pressure. Let's call this one. Uh, uh, pressure is equal to 10 megapascal for this problem. And then it's the low pressure line is right here, and it's 10 kilopascal. So we make a property diagram, put the dome on, put isobars for your pressures. Uh, we'll have another pressure in, in, another, in another problem, but not right now. There's only two pressures. Go ahead and put state one right here. High pressure, superheated. State two is going to be straight down because it's ideal. There's no efficiency for the turbine. It's isentropic expansion. Then state three. And grossly exaggerated where state four is. It's a lot closer in temperature, a lot lower temperature close to state three. But there it is so you can see it. And then we know how the, the flow is around that cycle. Okay. All right. Once you have the schematic, states identified, property diagram, make a table. In the table, I like to think of listing your state number. One, two, three, four. Pressure, temperature, maybe a description or quality, maybe specific volume, maybe enthalpy, maybe entropy, maybe flow exergy. There's a lot of properties you could put into a table that would be of use, okay? Um, but um, you, you populate this table. Now, one thing is, is I like to put on the side over here just a little notation to myself. What allowed me to fix state one? What allowed me to fix state two, state three, and state four? So it was pretty easy for state one. They give me both the temperature and the pressure. So temperature and pressure, or put it the opposite way, P and T if you want, because pressure is the first, pressure, temperature, pressure was first, then temperature, but it doesn't really matter. So it's pressure and temperature fixed state one. But what about state two? What fixed it? Knowing, that's right, S and P, right, P and S. Yep. And then state three, pressure and well, so X, I say P and X because X is zero for saturated. Uh, X quality is zero for saturated liquid. Okay, uh, what about state four? Uh, well, it's pressure and a couple ways you can do it. Pressure in S or pressure in H. Okay, because it's subcooled. So let's spend a little time talking about going from three to four. It's through this pump. And one way to do it is the last chapter in, well, last section in chapter six talks about an open system where it's internally reversible and there's no heat and you find that the, the work is minus integral VDP. And we use that and we say that the work that the pump puts in is VF at uh, three coming in, what's a saturated liquid specific volume, times P 
P4 minus P3. I think we did that last time. Then we would say the enthalpy at 4 is equal to the enthalpy at 3 plus the work that the pump put in. That's why I say pressure and enthalpy. But the other way, which is a legitimate, and a number of you students will do it this way, is you say, just like the turbine, S4 is equal to S3. True? Now that I know pressure and entropy, why can't I just go to the tables and get that? You can, and it'll either be single interpolation or double interpolation, depending on your pressure. If it truly is 10 megapascal, like this problem is, when you go there, there's a nice pressure block, and it's single interpolation. But the next pressure block is like 15 megapascal. So if they give you a problem 12 megapascal, you got a double interpolation. Hopefully all that makes sense. Now, the question is, is uh, which is the recommended procedure? Both. Whatever you want to do, it's your choice. Okay? Uh, I will probably do this and this and this and this and this and this and this. But it doesn't mean that I don't do this and this and this and this as well. You know, it's, it's your, your choice, okay? That may give you a little heartburn. What? I have a choice? Hold it, I'm an engineering student. <laughs> I, don't, I, I didn't think I had a choice. Okay, any questions about that? The main theme, get a di get an illustration, get a property diagram, get your table, populate the table, then answer all the questions, okay? Um, we're going to solve a problem in more detail, but let me press forward because this one was superheating. If you superheat, it's better for the turbine. You have more expansion in the turbine. If you superheat, the quality at state two typically increases. See the advantage of superheating? And uh, you'll, you'll, it's better for the turbine, a practical concern. Another practical concern, which is limitation, is, is often metallurgically, they won't let you go this high. You know, there'll be some metallurgical t uh, upper limit to the temperature that the turbine needs to be exposed to. And uh, so, so you can't superheat to infinity, although that would be good. Plus, you have to get heat into it, and your heat source has to have a higher temperature than the, what your steam is. It's, the heat transfer goes from high temperature to low. So, so there's a couple practical concerns or considerations.